What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys and you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. All right, so this is literally getting to be crazy because um, it's just been one of those days. This Taco Tuesday, it's got extra spice on it because uh, I just, 30 minutes ago, popped up a video that Jason Garrett's been fired by the New York Giants uh, after having a season low in points. And quite frankly, the touchdown that he got was only because they ended up having a tip pass and they got the ball on the three yard line and was easy enough for them to get into the uh, end zone. But you look at that offense, they're completely unimaginative. You know, it, it, your play calling doesn't make any, any sense. You know, you got Barkley back, but you're not running the football. And he was actually successful. It just it just does not seem like anything was good, and that's the move that they're going to make because, you know, you've got to find out if Daniel Jones can be your quarterback. It's a lot easier to hire an offensive coordinator than it is to, to get a quarterback. And if you're the Giants, what you may be thinking is, if Daniel Jones is not salvageable and we got six weeks to figure that out, then maybe you try and make a move for somebody like Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson or do something, but you've already invested so much, you know, and the season's pretty much done for you. You invest the next six weeks and see if somebody else has the reins, if there's some improvement. But also, I wanted to, to bring in here, because this is the thing that's been literally driving me crazy you know it's kind of like you know you, you keep seeing the goalpost moved or you know you, you see that pie right there and you get close to it about to get a, a slice of that pie and then the pie gets moved further away and you keep reaching and reaching but we've been hearing for weeks now that demarcus lawrence cowboys are about to get get demarcus lawrence back that he's close and they've been teasing us with him being just about there he's chopping at the bits he's out there working on the cords well this is a short week. You know, they kind of teased it that he might be out there this week. Well, he's not out there at practice today. And understand, this isn't a real practice practice. This is more of helmets and jog throughs. You're not doing like a full scale practice. So Demarcus Lawrence is set to miss his 10th game. And they have yet to activate the 21 game uh, coming off of injured reserve window. So they're not even activating that. So there's no chance that he's going to be playing this week. And it's just driving me crazy with the whole, he's close. Oh, the market, you know, y'all to tease me enough about it. I said this yesterday when I heard that, oh, he might play. I'm like, you know what? Get back to me when he's really definitely going to play. Because, you know, y'all have cried wolf too many damn times with this shit. Too many damn times I didn't heard he going to play. I'm sick of it. It's 10 games he's a missed. Next point. Um, the Cowboys like to be deceptive. They like to use a little trickery here. Remember a few weeks ago when I told you that Dak Prescott, I told you on Wednesday that Dak Prescott was not going to play on Sunday heard some things that had me knowing that he wasn't going to play them. But the Cowboys played as if he was going to play. In fact, even pregame warm-ups, they had you thinking he was going to play. And that may have been a little bit of an advantage for the Cowboys that he wasn't playing, that the Minnesota Vikings didn't know that. They prepared for Dak Prescott, not Cooper Rush. That was a great deception. Great chess move. This may be the same thing with CeeDee Lamb. Because my understanding with concussion is it's not usually something you come back from in four days. It's not usually something you come back for four days. But we were told Oh, yep, CD, he's in the classrooms. He may do some light work today. You know, he's going to play to get the Raiders thinking about how to attack CD Lamb. Another great deception. 
today at practice, at least for the part that's open for the media, Tyron Smith's out on the field. We know Demarcus Lawrence isn't practicing, and CD's not out there either. And again, this isn't a practice in pads that, you know, we're hitting the sled, you know, we're, we're, we're tackling it. No, this is a glorified walkthrough practice, a light practice, helmets only, no pads, and we're going through the game plan. And if you are unable to do that, if you're unable to go through that portion of the, 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 the practice, it's not really a practice, I don't think that you're going to be playing. But, you know, again, I'm the village idiot. I'm not, you know, I'm not ESPN. I'm not, you know, NFL Network and stuff. I'm just a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll that's just giving you my personal thoughts and opinions on what's going on. It's up to you to decide what you believe with all the information that you can collect. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'm going to pick up some more shit and then finally get back to Joe Boo's workshop and get my ass back to work because as they always say, Mark, you don't quit your day job because there ain't no future for you in broadcasting. And I'll see you soon. As soon as some more news breaks, I, you, you know, as soon as the news breaks, you'll see me. Peace.